All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic is about Ishmael, the son of Abraham. Uh, you know, we have a problem not only between the Muslims, this problem exists very much between the Christians and the rest. There's many people they are copy paste and nobody asks himself. I mean where where this is coming from There is a habit that's if we hear something from someone supposedly we trust or let us say He present himself wearing a uniform or something. So we take it for granted Since I was a kid I heard people saying that Ishmael is the father of the Arab I heard that the Bible speak about Ishmael and his children's which is the Arab are blessed. I heard that every single Arab is the son of Ishmael. I heard all of this and I heard it from Christians, not only from Muslims. But the more I grow, the more I notice how stupid people around me are. And I, I, I have to say the word is stupid because generation after generation after generation, nobody want to go and check it out. What's wrong? You can go right now and watch on YouTube tons of videos, Christian preachers speaking, Ishmael, Ishmael, the father of the Arab. Some of them they are famous, some of them they are known, and most of them they have no idea what they are talking about. And the one who have an idea what he's talking about, he is just going blind in that spot so let us uh, you know uh, make a challenge anyone who says to you Ishmael is the father of the Arab tell him can you show me where you get this from today I was uh, you know we we spoke in the previous video that the Muslims do not know who is Ishmael uh, a Muslim Abdul he sent me this message in text in in uh, YouTube saying CB asks about Israel and others. Israel is the name of the prophet Yaqub or Jacob that is used when referring to Israel, known as the children of Israel in the Quran. Ishmael meaning God hears. Israel mean uh, he will make God his master. Okay. If you want to learn, he said, this Abdul, listen to this rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we are challenging the Muslims to tell us what this is about. Who is Ishmael? The guy is saying to me, Here's this rabbi. And you are telling me why the world is full of ignorant. Suddenly, a Muslim, in order to learn what the word Ishmael mean and what the word Israel mean, he have to go and listen to the rabbi. So, what, what is your prophet is about? You're a prophet. He came to this earth to do what? To have to do nikah, to do muta, to have sex with six years old children. He have not time to tell us what Israel mean, and who is Ishmael, and why his name is Ishmael. Same time, when a Muslim he agreed that Ishmael is the name of this person and Israel is the name of this person, you just shoot your God in the foot and not if if not in the ass because you just admitted. That all the names of your God cannot fit with those names. You are the one who said in the translation, meaning God's here. God's here. Okay, where is the word God here? In the word Ishmael. It is Ishma and then Eel. Eel is the word God. If we search the whole Quran, we cannot find Eel. So Allah suddenly dropped his name. Same for the word. Israel You are the one who posted this for me not not me. This is not my words Meaning he will make God his master. What is the word God here in this word Israel? It is ill And the word Israel does not mean really uh, he will make God his master the rabbi you gave me he's a potato That you know literally he's a potato you have no idea what he's talking about, but as long as you like him, no problem. Obviously, Islam 
is based on a book cannot explain itself because now in order to understand who is this guy who is mentioned in the Quran more than 41 time then we have to go and watch a YouTube and then maybe we can ask a Jew and this Jew maybe he's an idiot he do not know what he's talking about and then he will explain to me what Israel means so why Allah is exist and why he sent Muhammad what is the job of Muhammad exactly to come down to earth or sent by Allah to say any Muslim woman she want to give her private part to me lawful for me as a privilege only this is what he is busy doing so obviously Islam answer nothing and you are the proof for that you could not approve me you cannot give me what the mean of Israel from anywhere except going to our rabbi now in the video he sent me the rabbi there he said and when people they hear the word rabbi they think really that rabbi is like rabbi as a big deal my friend there's a lot of ignorance and copy paste people who have no idea what they are talking about this guy he mentioned that the arab are the children of ishmael first of all there is nothing called arab arab are not an ethnic only donkeys who have no education I don't mean the public I mean those who claim to be a PhD or a scholar in their religion or they claim to be a rabbi or bishop only donkeys from those is the one who say so there's no nothing is called Arab Arab is not an ethnic group oh we can prove it very easy just a few days ago one of the Christians he was posting in a Christian forum he said uh, well obviously uh, the Bible prophecy about Ish the children of Ishmael is true look at look, look how big the population of the Muslims in the world I mean look at the stupidity first of all the Muslims in the world more 95% of them they are not Arab number two the Arab themselves, if we say, if we, for the sake of argument, if we say there is something called Arab, but there is none, is Arab. The if we want to say, the only one who can call themselves Arab is the one who live in Saudi Arabia, Emirat, and maybe Qatar. Yemen, they claim to be Arab too, but we can prove it easy that they are not, because just a few hundred years before Islam, none of them speak Arabic. not long time ago all the written found in yemen in the ancient yemen in the temple of al maqa none of it have to do with the arabic and none of them speak arabic now so what is the arab mean first of all for the muslims who say that ishmael is an arab we are going to get them busted from their own books and for the Christians who say that Ishmael is an Arab, we will get them busted from their own books. Enough is enough. I cannot take it more with those donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. Now, if we go and see what the Muslims they say about Ishmael, we will read the following. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is the story about Ishmael. All this story is about Ishmael. You can take your time and you can read it. I will show you first the reference so you can search for the hadith. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3364. 3364. Take notes, please. So you can find it and you can search it. In this hadith is telling us the whole story about Ishmael according to Muslims. And when I say according to Muslims, it's mean every word there is a stupid and it's a lie. However, as long as this is what they believe in, let us go with it. Are we being fair? All this story is a fabrication. Even the Quran confirmed that this is cannot. 
cannot be true. But the Muslim, they say, no, it does not contradict the Quran. And no, it does. We can prove it easy. If you read the story here, it tells us that Ishmael, he learned Arabic from the Arab. He learned Arabic from the Arab. Okay. Now let us think about it. And let us show you the reference because the hadith here is long. A child, i.e., Ishmael. So now Ishmael and his family, they came. They came to the city of Mecca. According to who? According to the Muslims. All right. That's wonderful. And they settled there. And then Ishmael grew up and learned Arabic from them. From who? From the Arab. Who is the Arab? The Arab. Those are the tribe of Jerham. Now, this tribe is the enemy of the tribe of Muhammad. You see it? This is the enemy of the tribe of Muhammad. And this is will get the Muslim busted when they say that Muhammad is from Ishmael for a very simple reason. Because how he can be from the children of Jerham. If Ishmael, he did marry from Jerham, what Muhammad have to do with Jerham? Secondly, how Muhammad will be from Ishmael? And how Ishmael will be the father of the Arab if he is not an Arab. To make it simple, if I go to the Philippines tomorrow or, or go to China or I go to uh, Germany and I marry a German woman, who is the stupid is going to say that I am the father of the German? Only donkeys will say such a thing. The Arab are already exist and they have their language according to this story. Remember, I said there's nothing is called Arab. That's a stupid statement. Arab are not exist. But we are going with this story here. So Abraham story here report for us that uh, uh, the mother of uh, 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 Ishmael and uh, how they settled down and how we, where they went here we go like she left and she etc and she could not endure looking at him blah 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 blah, blah. No, it's, it's a story you know a story and supposedly the miracle of the zamzam is coming because uh, uh, the the mother of ishmael she wanted to drink and whatever blah 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 it's it, you know it's a it's a totally fiction story fabricated by the muslims however as long as this is what they believe in then the muslims they have a problem because this person cannot be the father of the Arab for he learned Arabic actually in different references it says he learned Arabic at the age of 14 some they say 11 this person his father is not an Arab his mother is not an Arab the son is not an Arab and he learned Arabic at the age of 14 how he can be the father of the Arab especially he he is not the first let us say like you know we can say okay well the arab after that they, they are his kids because he was the first one and from his kids this this, uh, this ethnic came you know but uh, as you see this guy he according to the muslim stories he came he lived between the, the tribe of jerham and he did marry from them and then you know uh, he have a family with them as you see here you know You see all the story here, which is a very funny story. Proving to us that whoever say from the Muslims that Ishmael is an Arab, he is just ignoring what is written in his books.
for the Christians who have no idea what they are talking about when they say Ishmael is an Arab in case you do not know Moses he did marry a Bedouin women the Bedouin women is exactly who are they the Arab Arab is anyone who live in the desert Arab is not a name of an ethnic I'm sick of this ignorance I'm sick of this stupidity who is the one who taught you I know the school right the school they taught you that there's an ethnic it's called Arab go and look at the Arab do you see them look like the same where we can find the Arab who they are one ethnic if we go to China all of them they look Chinese if we go to Thailand all of them they look the same if we go to Africa all of them they look the same have you seen two Arab look the same have you right now go and look search for Egyptian and look at the image of the Egyptian people and then search for the uh, the image of an Iraqi and then search for the image of a Kuwaiti and search for the image of Saudi and search for the image of Yemeni and you will not find any of them match anything so how they can be from one ethnic group guys are you listening to me I'm just speaking to you like you know I, I, you don't have to be very much educated to to know that this is going to be true do you understand what I'm saying Arab is the same to make it simple for you is a somebody he live in America but he is not a Native American I am today I'm an American but I'm not really a Native American so now I live in America they call me American I have an American passport thank you very much this is exactly what the Arab are Arab are who live in the desert it is not an ethnic group it is not a name of a nation and it was not even about a language because the language of the Arabic we, we know it today is some is a collection of languages and most of it is coming from the Aramic and I believe strongly that the first Quran was not in this language we have it today it was in Aramic that's why the Muslims can't understand it uh, If you make a little search will not take you too much time and you will find how how you you know you can refute anyone who says to you what Arab mean if we go and do a little search in Google in Hebrew the word Avar and Arava literally mean desert desert do you see it this is what the original this is what the word mean whoever live in the desert he is an Arab <laughs> I mean is it do you have to be a genius do you really have to be a genius this is what it means an Arab person, a desert person, Arab people, a desert people, as simple as that. And this is coming from the Aramaic. This is not a Hebrew word because remember, even the Hebrew is not independent language by itself. I can say, you know, I can, I can say with no uh, hesitation, maybe seventy percent, maybe sixty percent of like between sixty to seventy percent of the Hebrew is coming from the Aramaic. And the rest is mixed from like the you know Egyptian and etc. Because remember, the the the, uh, the Hebrew they were collecting words too to their language each time they live somewhere. They live in Babylon. They live in Egypt. And each time they go, they they live there for 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 long. So, a Hebrew is a, 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 a developed language from other languages, and Aramaic is the mother of those languages. And there is a mother for the Aramaic too, because there's a previous languages, but Aramaic became the biggest popular like English today. So the Aramaic is the one who called whoever live in the desert, 
they call him Arabat. Arabat, what is Arabat? Arabat is somebody you know, but like Bedouin. You say Bedouin in English. Actually, even in Arabic, we say Bedouin. Why they call them, uh, you know, this name? Simply, those people who they are living, uh, uh, like the word, the, the word uh, Bedouin is coming from the word Baida. Uh, let me try to type something in the screen. We need a whiteboard. Hold on. The word Baida, and here there's a letter which you cannot pronounce Baida, Baida, okay, is is exactly, you know, like what is the word Bedouin is coming from, which those who they they are they are move like they have a moving houses in the in the desert, so the 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 Baida is the flat land who it's a desert a dry land. And people they go and the Bedouin they are the ones who live in the Baida for this is how they live they move from place to place looking for grass they grow you know they don't farm they don't do farming what they do they grow uh, animals cattle sheep goats whatever you know depend in the location the more tough the location is the more you know they focus in camels because there is no water. Uh, if the area is a mountain areas, then you, they grow goats because goats, they live very easy in mountains areas and they eat anything. If they have, if they live in a flat land, uh, uh, you know, they grow mostly sheep, especially if there is, uh, you know, a good amount of grass. So, but all of them, they are at the end of the day, they are living in a dry land, which is called al -Bayda. It is the steps of the desert. The desert, the deep desert is where uh, uh, you know, like it's very dry. There's nothing lived there. Like uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia, there is there is a, a part of it. It's called the empty quarter, because nothing lived there. Almost, you know, the temperature there, like rain. I think it fell there, like maybe once every twenty years, thirty years, something like that. So it's a very dry area. Then the word Arab is coming from the word Arabat. Arabat in in the Hebrew they they say Arabo Arabo but all of those is coming from where the Arabat and the Arabo is coming from the Aramic and the reason people they are called by this way you know uh, uh, in, uh, in the beginning uh, you know people they've been called by the where they live as an example what is Palestinian mean? There is no nation called Palestinian. It's not a nation. It's a, of a person who live in a Palestine. People who move to that area, they call them Palestine. Some they will say, oh, there is an ancient people who immigrate. I agree, there is ancient people long before those who have there. Those, those who they are there now have nothing to do with the Palestinian, as we, we can say if they are people. But it's about a territory the same as the Aram when we say Aramaic You know, you see every name in the Bible have a meaning and have a reason There's no names there is exist just as a name if you go and read all the names of the sons of Adam as an example You will see the ten names all the way to Noah. They present a prophecy about the coming of the Messiah You can go and watch a, a video in YouTube by by uh, uh, an old man uh, uh, like is explaining to you translating to you the names of the sons of Noah it's called I think a secret in the in the um, in Genesis 5 you know I think this is the name of the video so anyway the Aram Aram which is the Aramaic people Present people who live in high hills or let us say mountains, high land. Those are the Aram. So Aramaic is those who they live or move 
or settle in high land so the Arab are the one who live in a low land and usually it is the desert flat land so we have Aram we have Arab who is the one who called Arab Arab it is the Aramaic who are the Aramaic is people who live in the high mountains which means they can be a collection of ethnic not necessarily because they are mixed there is other groups who live between them before them and they merge together so uh, Aram he is the son of Sam the son of Noah correct and that goes back to him so those people who they are the sons of this man they are called Aramaic because of their father, but the fact their father was called this way because he will live in the high mountains. He will live, sorry, in the highland. And from there, his nation is spread, and then it became a great nation and became a great in, in, in numbers. And they, their language became the most important language in the world. And actually, until now, until now, Aramaic is the most important and used language in the world and many of you speak it every day without knowing Because as I said most of the words in Hebrew in actually even in English You see the letters the letters the, the sorry the, the numbers you use Many they lie to you and they say the numbers you use to today those are Arabic numbers one two three four five etc that's false this is the alphabet and the letters of the aramaic the aramaic their language is an alphabet and letters in the same time now the look and the shape of those numbers for sure changed but all of it it's coming from the aramaic language and this is how a huge the impact of the aramaic people in the whole world the word africa is an aramaic the word europe is aramaic so those people are no kidding. They are the most smart people and the most advanced. The first people who wrote, it was not the Egyptian, it was the Aramaic. Now, some they will say, oh, there's a nation before them who wrote, uh, maybe, but obviously they are the one who documented, the first one who documented and have books and have libraries and have shelves of books and documented everything. And the first one, let us say, who created something called alphabet organized as an official language so Arab is not an ethnic Arab is whoever live in the desert so if you are a person from the Aramaic and you go to Arizona and then you see somebody in Arizona he live in Arizona you say to him oh you are an Arab mm, which means you are a desert man by time the word Arab it come to have more meaning as an example because the Bedouin they start working in merchandise because they are used to move around so the, the travel life is easy for them so some of them they quit doing jobs as uh, uh, growing uh, animals and they start doing merchandise work so anyone who have a merchandise with camels they call him Arab because this is the guy of the desert but he's here really an Arab there's not no, there's no such a thing now Going back to Ishmael. When somebody says to me that Ishmael is the father of the Arab, and then we find that the Arab is exists before Ishmael, how you can explain to me that he can be their father? That's impossible. Secondly, how come nobody says that uh, uh, Moses is the father of the Arab? Because Moses says he did marry from a from a woman from the from the Bedouin, from the desert people, and those based in what we explained, they are called Arab. This is not their ethnic. Remember, Arab is people who live in the desert. So based in this, he did marry from an Arab too. So how come nobody says that Moses is the father of the Arab? What happened? That in the beginning, uh, let us say, uh, since this thing starts spreading around, like I mean, uh, uh, like the, Ish the Ishmael is the father of the Arab. This is from the beginning of Islam. The Muslims they start because Muhammad he mentioned that he is from Ishmael, 
and the reason Muhammad he mentioned that because he want to get himself a legitimate reason to be accepted as a prophet between the Jews you know if you remember we explained to you many times Muhammad was trying to convince the Jews that he is one of them if Muhammad he can Convince the Jews that he is from Ishmael then the Jews will accept him to be a cousin at least not a foreigner Then the Jews will accept him to be a blessed person because God he blessed Hajar So the whole idea of Ishmael is the father of the Arab is to make Muhammad qualified to be a prophet so when you as a Christian you say such a thing you are promoting the cult of Muhammad as simple as that this is the whole idea I say Muhammad is from Ishmael Muhammad now is qualified to be from a decent man who is the father of the prophets now Uh, here we have a problem and this is the problem for the Muslims not for us if we go in the Quran and we do a little search we will find the following Read with me carefully, please. Chapter 29, verse number 27. Chapter 29, verse number 27. Remember, this is the Quran. This is not me speaking. And this is your Muslim translation, not my translation. And we gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we ordained and ordained among his progeny, prophethood and revelation. Anyone notice what the problem? Anyone notice what the problem here? What is the problem? Remember we say that Muhammad, he claimed that he is from Ishmael in order to get himself accepted by the Jews. But this idiot, he forgot to add the name of Ishmael. Because now he confirmed that prophethood will be only from those two names. Otherwise, where is Ishmael? Remember, Ishmael is the eldest of the family. So he cannot be jumped. Like somebody can say to me, okay, maybe Ishmael was not born at that day. You know what I mean? Guys, are, are, you, are you following me? Like it can happen. Yeah, it, you know, it happened. That's okay. We made it from etc. Because Ishmael was not born at that time. He was the youngest. But no, this is not the case. Ishmael is the elder. So where is Ishmael? The verse confirmed that this is who are they, the prophet, and from their children, the prophets would be. Then how Muhammad, even if he claimed to be from Ishmael, can be a prophet? Muhammad is a guy who cannot keep his mouth shut. When he mentioned this verse, he was trying to convince the Jews that he believed in what they believe. But the idiot, the more he talks, the more he makes mistakes. If I am a Jew in his time, and I understand why the Jews rejected him anyway, I will say to him, okay, so why you are a prophet if you just told us that The prophethood will be from Isaac and Jacob. Where are you? Where we can find you now here? Same time, that would be contradiction to many verses in the Quran. Anyone knows why? Why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that would be contradiction to many verses in the Quran? Who knows why? 
Let us see if any of you can uh, figure it out. The Quran mentioned 25 names by name as a prophet. Many of them have nothing to do with the Jews. So how you say we made from them the prophethood and the, from their children? You know what I mean? How you say such a thing? Again, Muhammad, he say, he copy, he speak of stupid stories. He have no idea what they mean. He just he heard them from people before him, the old neighbor women, it, you know, who heard it from her mom and the mom she heard from her mom and the mommy from mommy, mommy, grandmom. And then it came to Muhammad and Muhammad, he take the story. He make it as a real story coming from his God. The same as the seven sleepers, the same as a, uh, 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 the, the flying carpet of Suleiman, everything is a copy of story of somebody. And Muhammad is very much the same as the Christians and the Muslims today. Many of the Christians today, they take whatever people they say to them for granted. And we gave you an example that Ishmael is from the father of the Arab, but not even one of them asks his priest, okay, where do you get this from? Can you show me the verses in the Bible say so? They say to you, look, look how big the number. The Bible says that his, his nation will be a blessed nation and the big number. My friend, are you looking for a prophecy to fill a fill? And you are looking for like a frame to place it in? Ishmael, he moved and he lived in a delta area, which is between in Sina and Egypt, that delta area. And this is where his children live. Can you show me where you get this from? If somebody want to say to me the Egyptian are an Arab, that's me because you are, because you are stupid. You do not know what you are talking about. The Egyptian are African. African are not Arab. Saudi Arabia is in Asia. That's number one. And before the Muslims invade Egypt, not a single person speak even Arabic word. Not even one Arabic word. Same as Syria. Same as Jordan. Same as Lebanon. Same as Iraq. Same as Tunisia. Same as Morocco. Same as Libya. You name it. So what is the Arab? The blessed nation of Hajar. You keep talking about the blessed nation. I will make their seed the same as stones by numbers. Okay, where are they? If we accept what is proven by history, that all those nations, none of them is an Arab. And if we say for the sake of argument, as I said, let us assume that the Saudi are Arab. Saudi Arabia is not even 20 million. Kuwait, all the country of Kuwait is not in the population of a little building in China. When, when Saddam Hussein invade Ku Kuwait, all the citizens of Kuwait, they live in hotels. Have you ever heard of a country can move to hotels? The whole country? I'm not joking. The whole country moved to hotels because the population is so small. Same as Qatar, how, how many uh, the citizens of Qatar? How many citizens of, of, uh, of uh, United Arab Emirates? 200,000? And this is now? So if we collect them all together, they will not make 30 millions. So where is the blessed nations who their, their, their numbers like stone? And again, those are not Arab. Those are mostly they are coming from India. You can go go right now and and, and look at the at the royal family of of uh, Qatar as an example. Go and look at uh, at all of them, all the Saudi, etc. You will find that their hair is a Pakistani Indian hair. 
You know, in case you do not know, let us do this. Because somebody might say to me, how how you come to this conclusion, Pakistani? It's, you know, yeah, yeah, my friend, let us show you why. You think Pakistan is far away from the, from the Arabian desert? <laughs> it's very close, extremely close. I remember Pakistan never was Pakistan. It's India, right? But after the Muslim invasion, so as usual, when they go to a country, they eat part of it to make it a country of their own. So let us go and open Google. Uh, or maybe we can do it here. Hold on. Okay, let us see. All right. I want you to focus with me in this map. I will put it in the screen in a second. And look with me carefully, please. So you might understand what I'm saying. Where is Pakistan? Pakistan today, but this is not really what is what is exist before. Before there's no borders, people they move. All right. Today, as it is today, it is here. This is what is between them to arrive to Arabia. This is can you can cross you can cross uh, you know six few hours six hours eight hours in the in the sea. That, uh, this is how this is how close it is. Maybe at that time it maybe it take them a week. I'm, I'm not sure about uh, how long it take in the old days, but I don't think even a week. It's very close. If you go right now, you see. If you go here, if we go, if we zoom, let us zoom. As an example, Bahrain, Bahrain, which is located here. Look how small it is. Let us measure. Oh, I think we need to open Google uh, Google Earth the program so we can measure the distance here between here and there. Let me do that. Actually, I think Google Google Earth will do a better job. Uh, give me a second, please. I try always not to open because you know they 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 suck a lot of my internet. All right, let us zoom in here. Okay, this is Qatar. Qatar is a small, tiny land. Let us use the measurement, uh, the scale of uh, Google to measure what is between the land of Iran, and this is the land of the Persian, and Qatar, uh, which is uh, the capital today, is at Doha. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think we can use this. Okay, let's use this straight line. Where is the? It doesn't show me the. Ah, here. Okay, it is two hundred two kilometers. This is nothing. Two hundred two kilometers. You believe it? This is how close it is to cross in different area. Let me show you how close it is. You know, in different area, it can be even a, 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 a lot more uh, close. Like if you go here as an example, look at this area here. Let us use the ruler here and measure from here to here, 50 kilo. 
50 kilos. So do you understand what I'm saying? If you go and look at those, how those people look like, you will, you will, you will, you will think you are speaking to a Pakistani guy. They have the same eyes. They have the same hair. They have the same skin. They have everything is the same, even the same height. If you go and see how they used to dress before, you will find yourself in Pakistan. Which is India. Actually, if you go and search the clothes of the old Qatar, the ancient, the, 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 the old people, and the, and the, and Bahrain, and the, uh, and Emirat, and etc., and even the Saudi, if you go to Jizan, you go to Yemen, you will see they are wearing the same clothes as the Indian today. If you look how the people they do the Hajj in the Kaaba, you will find yourself looking at a Hindu priest. Wearing the same clothes, showing one shoulder and exposing the other one, shaving his head. You go and check it out, and they have a black stone. So, all those people there, they have nothing to do with what is called Arab. There's nothing is called Arab. Like now I am called an Arab, but I am not an Arab. How? What make me an Arab? Especially now, I don't live in the desert. Like if I live in the desert at that time, they call me Arab. I get it. Okay, no problem. But because people are ignorant and they are, they, you know, today is what we, okay, this is the language we use today. This guy is born in a Middle East country. It's an Arab country. So he's an Arab. But there's nothing, there's nothing is called an ethnic, it's called Arab. You speak to a guy from Somalia, he says to you, I am an Arab. Imagine, you know, the Arab, they have like what they call it, uh, like European Union, you know. So uh, uh, in Arabic, we call it a Jamia al Arabiya. A Jamia al Arabiya, let me, let me look for the names, hold on, to show you who is the countries who they are partners or they are uh, members in this. Uh, uh, Arabian countries uh, organization. Remember, the organization contain Arabian countries. Let us let, let me show you the joke here. I will put it in the screen in a second. Let me search. Okay, we found it. This is the name, the official English name for this institute, which contain all what it's called Arab countries. If you go and check the names, you will die from laughing. And good, we have English. Where is the English? We click, it's not working. Ah. No wonder it's an Arab website. I mean, you cannot find anything working there. Look, it says English and Arabic. We click at the English, it doesn't work. Nothing working. We click at the Arabic, the Arabic work. <laughs> English, Arabic, supposedly. Supposedly, you know, we have Arabic and we have English. Yeah. Now, let us look at the map of the Arabian countries. Who they have nothing. Look, look at the picture. Did you see the picture before it? This guy is a this guy. How they match together? I have no idea. This is the map of the people who they are part of this country or part of let us say what is called uh, Arabian countries. Look at this. Who who is this country here? What is that? Somal. Somal is an Arab? <laughs> Somalia is an Arab? Yes, it's an Arab, brother. It is an Arab. Somalia government, are you kidding me? They are Arab, brother. They are, but they are African. They have darker skin. 
why they don't look the same as people in Egypt, the same as people in Syria? People in Syria, they have a blue eyes and green eyes. So a person from Syria, he is an Arab, and a person from Somalia, they are an Arab. Are you following with me, guys? Somebody is a crazy here. Somebody is a crazy. What does this have to do with the Arab? Look at this island here. What is this? Which country is that? I don't know the flag. The 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 uh, the, the what they call them, uh, uh, the Republic of Al Qamar, the United Republic of Al Qamar. What, what I don't know what the name in English here. Um. I'm trying to find the equal name. Anybody can can tell me what the what the correct name in English here for this one? This is a little island far away, Madagascar. You know Madagascar, Madagascar. What does this have to do with the Arab? Let us see more. Who is this guy here? Djibouti. Now Djibouti are Arab. Djibouti, they are Arab? Are you serious? This is the website of the presidents of Djibouti. I want to click in it. I want to go to Djibouti. Djibouti. Okay. How this guy, for God's sake, look like an Arab? Look at him. This guy is an Arab. So this guy is an Arab, people in Syria are Arab, people in Iraq are Arab, people in Egypt are Arab, Palestinian are Arab. I mean, what is that? It's a shish kebab collection. They don't even speak Arabic. They speak French. Let us go back to, to the Arab uh, states. Let us see them one by one. Okay. What is that here? What is that? Um, Mauritania? Mauritania are Arab? Ah, no wonder 70% of the population are slaves until now. Guys, do you know how, do you know that this country, do you know that this country, the majority of the population until now, they are slaves? If you don't believe me, go and search right now. Now, if we go and look at how people of Mauritania look like, you will find that none of them look like anyone you know as an Arab. I click at their website, it's going to take 10 hours. Yeah, the, the majority of population, they are slaves. And you know, and this is how perverted the world today. Nobody do anything about it. They accept them as member of the uh, United Nation and you know, they give them even assistance and etc. But this country, slaves is part of the constitution. And the one who claimed to be the Arab is the one who owned the black slaves. I click at the website, it's not going to work. I mean, you figure it out. So what is the Arab? How somebody, Lebanese are Arab? Lebanon, guys, Lebanon are Arab. What make them Arab? What make the Lebanese Arab? Nothing work. In this website, nothing work. You click anywhere, nothing work, as usual. No. And not only the website, the whole organization never work. Any anyway. You should see. You should see when they meet and they have a live TV how they fight. You know, this is the only proof that they are Arab. When they meet, they agree about not to agree. Anything else, they don't match. Go and look at the pictures of every president of those who they call themselves Arab. How the Qazafi look like and how the Assad look like.
let me let me show you hold on I will get you Sumerian president okay this is Sumerian president and then I will get you a collection just to show you and then we will go to uh, Egyptian president And then we will go to, uh, let us say, Lebanon president. And then Yemen president. Whatever it is. I look like we could not find the picture for this guy. Okay, let us start with the Yemeni president. This is how the president of Yemen look like. This is the president today, and this is the previous president. Okay, this is this guy here, the president today. Do you see him? All right. Wonderful. Let us see the Lebanese president, and you will see right away how they are so close in the look. This guy is a white guy. Uh, uh, obviously, his parents may be blonde. Let us go to the Egyptian president. This is the previous one, the Muslim Brotherhood one. This is the one before him, Mubarak. And this is Anwar Sadat, the one who signed the peace agreement. Let us go to the Syrian president. This is the Syrian president. Do you see his blue eyes? Guys, can you can you see his blue eyes? This guy he have a blue eyes literally. Not only he is white, he have a blue eyes. So how this guy is an Arab, and this guy is an Arab, and this guy is an Arab, and this guy is an Arab. But none of them look the same as anyone. This is the president of Somalia. He's an Arab too. <laughs> this is madness. This is, can be accepted if we are talking about America. America is a nation. Everybody coming from different place. Right? Okay. But they, they are saying here that they are Arab as ethnic. But this is the proof that this is not exist. This ethnic is not exist. If you go, let me find you the, hold on. This guy, and I will wait for you on the screen in a second, is the father of the prince of Qatar. He is the he is the real deal. He's still alive. He, you know, just to make his wife happy, he made him. Uh, guys, look with me. Isn't it, this is a Pakistani guy? Be honest with me. Isn't it, this is a guy, an Indian guy? Who can say no? Who can say no? Their hair, their face, their eyes, their look, it is Pakistani and Indian. And actually, they are more close to be the Indian more than the Pakistani today. Is that correct? 
if you see a guy like this walking in the mall, what do you think? Let us say he is not famous and he is not the prince of Qatar. What you will think? What is it from? If I say to you, guess where is it from? What you will think? Be honest. The same here. All Indian, they have the same kind of hair, black, dark, strong, same eyebrows, same eyes, same skin color, same, everything is the same. So now this guy is an Arab and this guy is an Arab and this guy is an Arab. I'm going to go crazy. Do you see any connection? We are Arab, but none of us look the same. What happened? We are Arab, some of us look African, some of us look blonde, some of the, us look uh, uh, Indian, but yeah, but we are Arab, brother. Isn't it obvious? If you go to Syria, you will see how big the population of the blonde people, they have a blue eyes more than the European. What, what does this have to do with the Arab? This guy is an Arab? I assure you that if Kim Jong Jin Jong Jin, the president of North Korea, he agreed to join this uh, with them, they will make him Arab too. Alexander the Great is an Arab. Al Qazafi said, even Shakespeare. You can go and watch his YouTube. He said that we are the, we are the original of the, the whole civilization. As an example, Shakespeare, the true and the real name of Shakespeare is Sheikh Isper. Like what the heck? Shakespeare is an Arab? His name is Sheikh Isper. I mean, this is must be true. And you Christians, when you say Ishmael is an Arab, you do the same. You are just following a lie, copying a lie, pasting a lie, teaching your children a lie in the churches. When you say Ishmael is an Arab, it's the same as Al Qazafi saying Shakespeare is Sheikh Isper. I'm sick of it. I cannot take it no more. <laughs> I hope you guys you will download the video. And you will save it with your friends, share it, because you know um, enough is enough. I mean, seriously, enough is enough. Arab are not an ethnic; they don't look the same. Look, this guy, this guy, his neck is like a giraffe. This guy, look, look at this neck. Do you see that? Do you see his neck? His neck is from here to here. Do you see how big it is? Okay, let me show you the other neck. I'm just going to compare between the necks. I mean, even their necks is different. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about this guy? This guy, he have no neck. His neck is gone. It's missing. There's no neck. Where, where is the neck? It's not even one, one centimeter. It's not even half inch. The neck is gone. Hello? Can I find your neck? Let us search for the other guy. Remember, they are all Arab from one nation, proven by uh, Zakir Raik and the priest in your church. Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. Look at this guy. I mean, this guy, he have a neck, but I don't know, like, I wish he take a, he'd take a, 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 like a, yeah, anyway, it jump this guy, jump him. This Lebanese, he's close to the Syrian. Anyway, they look the same. Look at this guy. He look exactly like this guy. Exactly like this guy. You have to be blind not to see that how much they are close to each other.
and yet we will see a priest in the church he say to you that Ishmael is the father of the Arab if not the shame I will jump from the window I commit suicide but the problem I live in the first floor Lord have mercy anyway guys I think we have enough for uh, for today tomorrow I will try to do live broadcast tomorrow is off but not sure really maybe people they will go out do barbecue etc in USA but I will try to do a live broadcast and I'm going to go in a trip you know maybe in uh, today is what yeah, maybe like 10 12 days from now uh, uh, I will stay abroad for a while and I will try to, my best to make videos and load them, but look like I cannot make a uh, I cannot make a live video because the, the, the stupid laptop I have cannot handle it to do a uh, live broadcast. It keep crashing. Um, I was looking to uh, to buy one, but uh, everything is scary expensive. In order to get something good. It costs really good money. So anyway, we we'll, I will try my best to make videos and load them. Uh, if I could not find a solution for this uh, computer thing, I want to say thank you. Are you coming to Canada? No, I'm not going to Canada. No. First time I went to Canada, guys. First time I went to Canada, they look. Oh boy, this guy must be a terrorist. He looked like a terrorist. He walked like a terrorist. His beard is 100% terrorist. He talked to us as a terrorist. He must be. So they asked me, sir, can you go inside? I went inside. And then he asked me to empty all my pocket. A day before, I was working in my antenna. And I have, you know, those two things you connect between two cables for the antenna. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you have two cables, not only necessarily antenna. I mean, any cable, you want to connect them. So the girl there, she said to me, why you are having this with you? I said, what do you think? Why? She said, I'm asking you. I said, why you are you asking me? I mean, isn't it silly to ask me about this? This is for cable. What I would do with it? And then she gave me a paper. She asked me to write what, what they found in my pocket as if I have a gun. <laughs> and I wrote, they found a little piece of silly connection between two cables for TV <laughs> and I gave it to them uh, she said why you added the word silly I said because this is silly anyway I went outside and I found them putting my car together literally they took all the doors off I mean the whole car became parts <laughs> looking for the terrorist and really everything but the benefit of this they clean my car after they finished to just to make me happy they put it together and they got a guy he did like a, you know vacuum and etc so i was like okay that's good that's good at least we get we get a free vacuuming yeah but after that i went many times they never asked me even a question they call me by name when i go in the gate because you know they have you now your information they can read your uh, uh, license plate they say you say your name will come what are you what you how long you want to stay I'm, uh, they never check me they never ask me anything just first time it was the most horrible and the more silly one yeah anyway uh, I don't blame them I don't blame anyone you know like uh, when I go in the in, in, in uh, anywhere you know they they right away they select you especially if you look like a terrorist me literally I look like a terrorist you know when I was in the Philippines I say good morning nobody answered they get scared you know literally nobody say like nobody good, nobody say good morning you know, the, <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm scared. Do, do, do you understand now why I don't open my camera? Guys, are you getting the idea? Imagine you go in the elevator, you say good morning, nobody answer. People are looking like, what the heck is this? Is he an alien? They say alien are true sometimes. Look like it's true. <laughs> anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, uh, I will try tomorrow to do a live broadcast. Don't forget, please, to hit the subscribe if you are new. And um, 
please if somebody says to you that Ishmael is an Arab don't keep your mouth shut show them that they are saying a stupid thing all right thank you very much and as always we say Christ is Lord and Islam is false and we will close without the music because the music is the best in what we saw today that all of us we are Arab even Donald Trump must be an Arab thank you and see you soon again Christ is Lord again. Bye-bye. Take care.